Good morning guys and happy Monday. Welcome to another weekly vlog. I'm just standing here by my coffee machine making some coffee right now. Starting a new week. Today is Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day to any veterans out there. And I have today off. And so yeah, it's like almost 10 o'clock right now and I'm just not making my coffee. So good way to start a day off. I'm still gonna use a Halloween mug even though Halloween is over because I'm still holding on to it. So we have our mug. <laughs> yeah, so last week was a bit of a whirlwind, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I spent a lot of it with various emotions. Sometimes I was distraught, other times I was scared. Next minute I felt powerful. Next minute I was angry. It was just a lot of mixed emotion. But I think that despair and fear and all these sending you into a tailspin emotions are tools of manipulation. And you know what? I will not be moved. I will not be moved. So this week I'm creating my own joy, my own peace. Wow, we may think that that is in somebody else's hands or in something else's hands at the end of the day. It is within us to create. It's always within our control. And, you know, people have created joy and peace in worse circumstances. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get back in the swing of things this week. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. So, I'm making my coffee right now. Today, my mom and I um, decided to go to a couple of furniture stores to see if I can find a kitchen table for in our house. I said before that we have like couches and a chair that are supposed to be delivered. I think the earliest they could have been delivered is like this week, but I haven't gotten anything about that yet. So don't think it's happening this week, but sometime by the end of the month or maybe early December, that should be coming. But I did not order a table in that, you know, order that's coming. So. I need a kitchen table and chairs. And then this whole area over here, like the kitchen through the living room, will pretty much be complete. We'll have space for everyone to gather, we'll have space to eat dinner and all that other good stuff. So yeah, we're gonna look for a kitchen table today. The rest of this week, honestly, will probably just be a typical homey kind of vlog. I'll be working the rest of the week. And other than that, just like making dinners, being at home and having a cozy fall week. So if that is what you're into, stick around. We can be here for each other and give each other peace and happiness and joy. So that is my little spiel for this morning. I'm going to drink my coffee and get ready for my day. Mm, that's good stuff. That is good stuff. The dishwasher's going in the background, so just ignore that, but I made myself a little breakfast. This is basically what I eat every day for breakfast during the week. Um, I have Greek yogurt. It's just Faye. I think it's the 5% Greek yogurt. Some, that's Eloise. <laughs> um, some granola. It's the, let me see the brand. I can't remember what it's called. It's this Bare Naked Vanilla Almond Crisp Granola. And then I put some raspberries on there. Sometimes I do strawberries, sometimes I do blueberries. I switch that out, but the rest of it stays the same for the most part. So that's my little breakfast for this morning. After I eat this breakfast, I think I'm going to tidy up upstairs a little bit. Maybe like clean my bathroom a little and um, run the vacuum upstairs. And then I'll go out with my mom to furniture shop. But yeah, that's where we're at. I decided I'm going to straighten up my bedroom. I have like a bunch of clothes laying around. I'm gonna put those away, make my bed, run the vacuum, and do the floors in my bathroom, which I'm currently in. And that'll be it for the tidying portion of my morning. But yeah, I'll probably just do like sped up uh, montages of that. So let's get into it. <laughs>
right, I've tidied up. Now I'm gonna get dressed and ready to go. I was going to wash my hair, but I really don't feel like it, so I think I'm just gonna wear it up. Even though I never wear my hair up because I don't like how it looks, but I just don't feel like doing it. So I'm not gonna. I'll wash it later tonight before I go to bed, but yeah, that's my plan. Let's get going. So I got dressed, pulled my hair up. I hate how my hair looks in a ponytail. I don't know why, I just hate it. But anyway, that's what we're doing. Last time I talked about using these Crest Sensitive Wipe Strips. And so far, I think they're working really well. I'm actually about to take them out because um, the time is up. But they made my teeth a little bit sensitive, but not to the point where I can't use them anymore and not to the point where it like, hurts to eat or drink anything. So I definitely think they're better than the original ones, which really hurt my teeth. But yeah, I'm gonna take them off now and I will show you the status of my teeth. I feel like they've gotten a little bit whiter. Definitely noticeably whiter from when I started it, which I think was like 12 days ago. Yeah. Okay, I just looked and I still have seven strips left and there's 18 in a pack. So I must have started 11 days ago. But this is the status of the whiteness of my teeth. Jeez. They're definitely whiter and they keep getting gradually lighter every time I use them. So yeah, I would recommend those. I said I'd let you know what I think of them. Would recommend, even if you have sensitive teeth. Okay, now I'm just going to put my makeup on really fast and then I'll be ready to go with my mom. As for the kitchen table that I'm looking for, I'm looking for a seven piece dining set or potentially buying a dining table and getting um, six chairs separately to go with it. I want it to be wood, like, or at least have the appearance of looking like wood as opposed to like being white or black or a solid color like that. I have kind of a vision of what I want in my mind, which is like all of them being the same color wood, the table being the same color wood as the chairs and having kind of like a rustic or like kind of more traditional look to it. That's what I have in mind. I saw one that I liked at Wayfair, but personally, um, I don't really want to buy things from Wayfair anymore. So, <laughs> and you, um, have to pay for shipping if you return for things on Wayfair. So I'm trying to find one that I would prefer to be able to see it in the store first and buy it that way instead of buying something online and then having to return it. Just because I feel like with our floor that we have, um, I think different shades of wood may potentially clash with it pretty easily. And so I don't want to have to go through like returning a bunch of stuff and trying to guess what color would look good with it. We're going to go to Ashley Furniture Store and Levin Furniture. I'm not sure if she has anywhere else in mind. She kind of knows more about furniture than I do. But so far, that's the plan. I think we will just feel so much better about everything feeling put together in the house once we have a kitchen table and our sofa, our sofas and couch, because it'll actually feel like a living space. <laughs> right now, it is just so bare. And there's not really anywhere for people to go when they come over or to sit down and relax. And so, especially with the holiday season coming up, it would be nice to have all of that settled and good to go. This is on a totally unrelated note, but I'm just thinking about it because um, it should be coming in the mail today. But I ordered new shampoo and conditioner. I said in one of my previous videos, I was trying to find a cheap alternative for shampoo and conditioner that wouldn't make my hair greasy. And so I tried Dove Bond Boost, I think it was called, no, Dove Bonding Shampoo. And I tried Pantene Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. And while both of them, I think, make your hair look good immediately when you blow dry it and style it, 
I just feel like it builds up really badly and it makes your hair look pretty greasy. And I didn't notice how bad it was until I used my old, more expensive shampoo that I still have um, to wash my hair the other day. And um, I could feel all of it just like coming out and it was pretty gross. And so I am kind of done with that. I think I'm gonna go back to my more expensive one, which is, so I have been using Bondi Boost Thickening um, Shampoo and Conditioner. And honestly, I don't really think it makes your hair thicker, but it does keep it pretty like clean. And so I wouldn't have to wash it. I would only have to wash it twice a week which is nice because once you curl it and you style it, then you're good to go for a few days. And you only really have to do that twice a week, which is pretty nice, especially working from home to <laughs> just be able to wake up and my hair is just like already styled from the day before and don't really have to do much in terms of getting ready. That's mainly why I like it. I just think it cleans your hair better and keeps it um, not having that like built up kind of grimy look to it. So I'm going back to that. Actually what I ordered was not the thickening one because I only feel like kind of so-so about that one. I ordered another one which is called their, what is it? I can't remember what it's called, but it's for like hair loss or for hair thinning. And so I'm gonna try that. It has good reviews. But we'll see how it goes. I feel like with the more expensive shampoos, they do clean your hair better and prevent buildup and all of that. But like when I tried the Dove bonding shampoo for the first time, my hair just had so much more bounce to it. It was like softer. But I feel like that kind of only lasts for so long and before it starts building up and you look like your hair's greasy every day. And that's where I'm at right now. So, yeah. Just an update on the shampoo and conditioner saga. We'll see how the Bondi Boost works. I would prefer to not spend that much money on shampoo and conditioner though because it's just so ridiculous. It's literally getting washed down the drain. The only upside is though, with the Bondi Boost, you only have to use a little bit of it. And so it lasts a pretty long time. So really, when you think about it, is it more money in the long run? I may just be uh, delusional right now or trying to convince myself. <laughs> I'm also really liking this pixie stick. Um, I think the color looks really nice. And I like the um, effect that it gives, like it's kind of glowy. I'm liking that. So yeah, just to update on all the products that I previously bought in various vlogs um, that I've been using now for a couple of weeks. And an update on my brows, <laughs> the main events of my last video. I've gotten more used to them as the days have gone on, but still don't love them. It's the update there. I still feel like I look weird. But it is kind of nice just having some dimension to my face when I don't have makeup on, I guess. Other than that, not a huge fan. All right, my makeup is done now. And I'm going to head on over to my mom's and we'll go out looking for some furniture. We have arrived. I'm here with my mom at Levin's Furniture. I look like I'm bald. What the heck? <laughs> but let's see what they have. Well, Levin's was unsuccessful. Now we're going into Ashley. Didn't see any tables we like here, but I like this coffee table, so that's a contender. So I lied, we did we do see a table that we like here. It's this one here that also comes in a rectangular. So it's a contender. Still not positive. We are going in home goods now. Partially to save that furniture and partially probably to look at Christmas stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna 
gonna get this cute little gingerbread pillow. I've been wanting one of these for a while. They were all out last year. The OG is the Pottery Barn one, but they're so expensive. This one is $25, plus everything's 20% off in here today, so it's a much better deal than Pottery Barn. But yeah, this is what's going on in here. Hi guys, it is Tuesday now. I just got done with work, and it's around 5.15ish right now. And I'm going to make some dinner. So tonight, I'm making a recipe that I actually learned from TikTok. It's pretty simple. It's um, chicken legs in a peri-peri sauce baked in the oven with a side of steamed green beans or boiled green beans and um, roasted sweet potatoes. So that's what I'm doing right now. Ben is actually going to be going to dinner with his mom tonight. I think they kind of made like a last minute plan to do that. So I'm still going to make this so I can eat it tonight. And then we'll have leftovers tomorrow as well. And I won't have to make dinner tomorrow. So yeah, it's just going to be me chilling here tonight. Having dinner to myself, which will kind of be nice, you know, get a little relaxation time. Maybe I'll get to read my book a little bit more. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty chilly outside. So I have the fireplace on. Maybe I'll be able to cozy up to that with my book. We shall see where the night takes us. But right now, I'm making this peri-peri chicken. We'll get started. So the first thing to do is to preheat the oven to 400 degrees, which I've already done. And then you need a cast iron skillet for this. So you get a cast iron skillet and you cut up one yellow onion and kind of put that on the base of the cast iron skillet. And then we're gonna set the chicken legs on top of that. Uh, with like some butter and seasoning and stuff, but I'll show you. Okay, so here is the situation. I just seasoned the drumsticks in a bowl with olive oil, salt, pepper, uh, garlic powder, smoked paprika and onion powder. Put a little bit of parsley on top and put them on top of this bed of onions. I also took butter and like spread it throughout the pan. And so now I'm gonna put this in the oven for 30 minutes, then we'll take it out, we'll baste it and put it back in. And keep doing that for basically an hour. Um, and then eventually I'm gonna put the peri-peri sauce on, but this is it for now. And I'll see you in a little bit. Now I'm cutting up the sweet potatoes into cubes while the chicken's in the oven and just getting that ready to roast them. I'm going to roast them in my air fryer just with some olive oil and salt and pepper. Okay, so I took the chicken out. The next step is you're supposed to splash some chicken stock onto the bottom of the pan and kind of like wiggle stuff around and baste the chicken. I don't have chicken stock right now. I forgot to get it, but I've made this before without chicken stock. So I just use water instead of chicken stock. You just put like a little bit on the bottom just to get things moving around a bit and enough for you to be able to baste it. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so here's where we're at. We're just gonna put it back in for another 20 minutes. Then we'll take it out and put the peri-peri sauce on. Okay, so I took them out, basted them, put the peri-peri sauce on. Now I'm gonna put them in again for another 15 minutes and then they will be done. This is the peri-peri sauce I used. It's just from Target. 
you can get any kind of peri peri sauce really um honestly this one isn't the best it's not that spicy i prefer it to be a little bit more spicy i've gotten i think the nando's version at walmart before which you can get in um a spicier version but yeah that's the one i use today i also know trader joe's makes one i'm not sure of anywhere else but yeah so i put the sauce on putting it back in the oven like i said 15 minutes and it'll be done and then i'm gonna boil my green beans over here i have my water going and put my roasted or put my sweet potatoes in the air fryer to roast them all right here is the finished product i got my roasted sweet potatoes my boiled green beans and then two chicken legs with the peri peri sauce and spices and all that good stuff I'm finally ready to eat. I'm really, really hungry, so I'm excited to eat this. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning now. I'm just getting ready to go out for my run. I have a Premier Protein. I'm gonna drink like half of this. I just like a little bit of something in my stomach before I go out and do my exercise. This morning, I actually have a doctor's appointment in the morning so instead of going to work this morning i'm going to my doctor's appointment and then i'll go to my work and yeah that's pretty much the only thing i've got going on today there's a bunch of deer on the hill in the back of my house so that's something oh there he goes <laughs> it is very cold outside this morning so i have this puffer coat on which i haven't worn before doing my run yet so i don't know if i'm gonna get too hot right now i'm pretty warm so i think it'll do a good job of keeping me warm like i said in my last video i'm going to go back to my couch to 5k for the last two weeks to build up to being being able to run for 30 minutes so right now i can run for like 22 minutes straight and so i feel like it's just a little bit harder for me to get up to the 30 minutes so I'm going back to the couch to 5k see what happens with that or if it's helpful at all I, it may not be helpful we'll see <laughs> hi guys it is after my work day now i had my doctor's appointment this morning did my full work day and now i'm going to go outside and do a walk around my neighborhood because like I said before I'm trying to get in 10,000 steps every day I got in around like 5,000 or 6,000 so far which includes my run this morning and usually I get in my other steps by walking on my walking pad while I'm working during the day usually I only do that for like an hour and I'm able to get 10,000 steps if I also do an exercise during the day. But today I did not do my walking pad during my work day because I was like focused on trying to get something done and I just wasn't thinking about it. So yeah, I'm gonna go out and do a walk around the neighborhood probably just for like a half hour. It's already starting to get dark thanks to, day thanks to daylight savings, but yeah, that's what I'm up to right now. All right, I am back from my walk now. I tidied up the kitchen a little bit, lit a pumpkin spice candle, turned on all my lights in here, and it's pretty cozy. For dinner tonight, I'm just reheating the leftovers that I have from yesterday, which is that peri-peri chicken. It was pretty good, and it's pretty good heated up as leftovers as well. Other than that, I'm not really sure what else we're gonna do tonight. Probably do some relaxing. Ben said maybe he's going to paint some of the doors down here because like the pantry door still isn't on. It needs to be painted. This door behind me needs to be painted white. So he said he's going to get started on that. Um, he was going to spray paint all of the doors, which he spray painted the trim in the basement or in the garage. And that worked pretty well, but he said it's just kind of like such a pain to spray paint everything because he has to put all of his garb on. He gets paint all over himself. And so he said he's going to try just like painting them one at a time by hand. So we'll see how that goes tonight. We'll see if he does that. I kind of just want to like read my book some more and try to get further along in it. I'm kind of stuck at around the 35% mark of the book. And I feel like I should be closer to being done with it than that the thing is i usually read before i go to bed at night and i don't really read that much before i fall asleep because 
I fall asleep pretty easily when I am reading a book. So <laughs> I read like a couple of pages and then I fall asleep. So I'm trying to create time to actually delve into my books that I have um, before reading before I go to bed. Maybe I will be able to set aside some time to actually read my book tonight. And that's where we're really at today. I think Ben went up to go to the bathroom, but he is working on painting this door. Here's the progress so far. He's probably gonna have to do, well, he's definitely gonna have to do another coat, but I don't know how many more coats he'll have to do. But it already looks way better. Definitely more cohesive with the rest of the house. So yeah, we're making progress. We ate our leftovers, they were pretty good. It was actually kind of a little bit better as a leftover than it was yesterday. I think something about reheating the chicken in the air fryer just gave it a little bit of like a crispness on top that made it taste extra good. So we ate that. We watched an episode of Shrinking on Apple TV, which we've been enjoying. It's the second season. We watched the first season when it first came out. But yeah, we've been enjoying that. And I think I'm going to take a bath now. I was debating on whether or not I should just take a shower and wash my hair and do that whole shebang. But I actually feel like my hair looks pretty good right now. I don't wanna, you know, do it if I don't have to because it takes a lot of effort and time. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a bath and read my book in the bath. Ben's gonna continue painting these doors, I'm assuming. I feel bad, but um, yeah. I am going to take a bath. All right, I'm in my bathroom now, about to take a bath. I decided I'm going to put a face mask on while I'm in the bath. I'm gonna use this Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask, which I use every once in a while, and I like how it makes my face look when I use it. You know, there's only so much a mask can do. And I feel like this does all the things that I need in a mask. So I'm gonna put this on. All right, we have our mask on. And here is the bath situation. So like I said, I'm reading my book. I'm reading Lisey's story, still stuck on it, been stuck on it <laughs> since. Labor Day weekend, but I'm going to finish it. I'm an extremely slow reader. Um, have my candle, got my Stanley full of ice cold water, and the bath. I just put some of my body wash in there to give it a little bit of suds, but other than that, that's all we really got in there. Ready to enjoy my bath. I have relocated into my bed, had a relaxing bath. I've got a cup of sleepy time tea. It's steaming hot, I haven't drank it yet because it's very hot. Got my book here and I'm watching on my TV one of my autumn ambiance videos that will focus. There we go. Yes, one of the autumn ambiance videos I found on YouTube with rain in the background, a fireplace. There's a bookshelf there, it's extra cozy. And I have my candle lit. So I've created a little cozy night for myself here. Gonna keep reading my book, and then I'll probably just go to bed. But I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Hi guys, it is Thursday evening now. I'm just in the laundry room, folding some laundry that was going. I am done with work for the week actually, so tomorrow, is one of my days off. As I said in previous vlogs, I changed my work schedule so that I work nine hour days and I have every other Friday off. And tomorrow is one of my Fridays off. So today is kind of like my Friday. <laughs> so I'm very happy to get started on my weekend. Tonight is probably just gonna be pretty chill here. Um, I have steaks to make for Ben and I for dinner. I'm gonna have that with salad. It's very rainy and cold out today. It's been raining all day long, but it kind of makes it a nice cozy situation for the fall. So I think maybe we can have a fire and just be cozy. Yesterday, Ben finished painting the doors like I was showing you. The door behind me is painted, although this hardware that's on it is going to get replaced with something different. Um, right now it's like a gold chrome and as I was saying in other vlogs I think I want to change it to like a satin nickel 
I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm stuck between that and doing black. But I feel like I will like satin nickel for longer than I will like black. I don't really know. Also, tomorrow my mom and I are going out again to look for kitchen tables. And we're actually gonna go to another Ashley location, which is further away, but should have more options for us. Oh, Ben's calling me, one second. I just got off the phone with Ben. So yeah, as I was saying, my mom and I are going to go tomorrow to some more furniture stores. We're gonna try another Ashley location, which is a little bit further from me um, because they have a larger inventory there. So we're gonna see what they have there. I know I liked that coffee table that I saw last time we were there, but as for the kitchen, like dining table that we saw when I was there last time, I think I've talked myself out of that just because I think I'm gonna go a different route with the kitchen table the more I've thought about it. I feel like going all wood is going to clash with all the wood that's going on in here right now. Like we have our cabinets, in the kitchen that are a reddish brown color. The floor is a reddish brown color, but a little bit more brown than the cabinets. And I think just adding another tone to that with the kitchen table is gonna be a bit much, especially cause it's gonna be right up against the kitchen cabinets. I think it's just gonna clash. So I'm thinking now that I wanna get a wood table but with black chairs, I was kind of resisting going the black chair route because I have this like vision in my mind of putting black chairs back in my dining room with the dining table. And for some reason I convinced myself in my mind that I can't have black chairs in there and out here, I'm just like, thought I could only have them in one room. But I've told myself, no, you know, that's another arbitrary rule that you created in your head that does not actually exist. So I'm thinking of going the route of black chairs in here with a wood table and some version of wood that doesn't clash with what's already going on in here. I saw, some black chairs on the Ashley website. I don't know if they'll have them in the store tomorrow. Um, and I liked those. And I also saw a table that I liked. So we'll see if they have it in the store tomorrow or if I find something else that I like. But yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. And yeah, you can see the doors behind me that Ben's painted. He painted this one and that one over there. So we're getting there one step at a time. I'm gonna get started on the steak and stuff now but that's not going to take very long it's a very quick easy meal i'm just making steak on a cast iron skillet and a side salad for me men so it's a very simple easy meal for a weeknight but yeah i'm making the steaks now i just brown them on the skillet and then i put the skillet in the oven for i don't know less than 10 minutes I honestly don't remember how long it takes. I'm gonna have to Google that. <laughs> so let me check Google and I'll get back to you. Hi guys and good morning. It is Friday morning and I'm once again in my laundry room about to fold some laundry because I never finished folding these towels. I have this hat on because I was about to go out for a walk this morning and um, then I realized these towels were in here, so now I'm folding these towels. But I figured I'd just start the vlog here. Yes, so I have today off, like I said yesterday. Um, I think yesterday I ended the vlog with filming the steaks. And honestly, those steaks were kind of a disappointment. I've gotten that kind before, and they're usually fine, but yesterday they were really bad for some reason. I don't know if it was the way I cooked it or what happened there, but they weren't great. So, yeah, we just ate the steaks, and then I watched Olivia Rodrigo's Guts concert on Netflix, and Ben was playing games, like, online with his friends, <clears throat> well, actually with um, his cousin Chick and with his sister, Mariah, so... That's what happened last night. This morning, at least, I'm going to go on a walk around my neighborhood. It is very, I think it's cold outside and it looks very um, dreary. 
And I told myself maybe I would also do a pure bar workout when I get back. Just because I kind of feel like it. But I don't know if that's actually going to happen. Don't hold me to that. I may not want to when I get back. I'm going out with my mom today like I was saying yesterday. So I have to take a shower. Today's one of my... Oh, I want to focus. Today is... One of my days where I have to like wash my hair and do like everything, like an everything shower. So that's going to take some time. I don't know. We'll see where the morning takes us. All right. Got this all folded. Now let's bring it upstairs. Might put another load in um, while I'm out on my walk. I don't know if that's a bad idea or not in case place flood floods, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I got my coat on, my hat on and everything, ready to go for my walk. Then I realized it's actually, sorry, that's my laundry going. It's actually drizzling outside, which is kind of annoying because it wasn't when I woke up and I sure just went out immediately. But this is where we're at and it's supposed to keep drizzling for the next couple of hours. So I think I'm just gonna go out with an umbrella because I want to get my steps in. I want to get some fresh air. I've been doing good with my 10,000 steps a day and I don't want to break my little streak I have going. So I think I'm just going to take an umbrella and maybe it won't be that bad. So we'll see what happens. All right, I'm back from my walk. I didn't use my umbrella because it was basically like really misty and I did get a lot more wet than I thought I would. My hair is all wet. It's okay, I'm washing it anyway. My coat's all wet, so I have to hang this up to dry. But yeah, it was a nice walk. I walked for an hour and I decided while I was walking that I wasn't gonna do my pure bar workout because I just didn't feel like it. And I was listening to my podcast and I was into that. So I just kept walking and I was like, you know, I'll just walk for an hour and nix the pure bar idea because I'm enjoying this. So yeah, I did my walk. I'm going to make something to eat. I think I'm gonna make avocado toast with an egg and a side of bacon. And then I'm gonna take a shower, get ready to go and do some furniture shopping. So I actually did not have any bread, so I couldn't make avocado toast. <laughs> so what I did was I had a bowl of total cereal, and now I'm gonna have this egg and bacon and some raspberries. It looks a little bit sad um, compared to what I envisioned for the avocado toast, <laughs> but <laughs> this is it. And I have a cup of Earl Grey tea, and I'm gonna eat this, get ready to go. <laughs> to talk quickly about the new shampoo and conditioner I've been using. Let me get it. This is just the conditioner, but it's Bondi Boost. On the bottle it says HG conditioner shampoo, but I think it was listed as a shampoo and conditioner for thinning hair. So I'm trying that. Like I said before, I tried the whole cheap <laughs> shampoo and conditioner with Dove and with Pantene and I feel like they just built up in my hair. I used to use the Bondi Boost thickening shampoo and conditioner but I wanted to try this because I feel like I'm losing more of my hair recently and so I wanna see if this actually does anything. It has really good reviews on Ulta so I don't know, we'll see what happens. I liked how it smelled 
It felt similar to using the thickening one in the shower, but it was a little bit more moisturizing. So I'm also interested to see if my hair needs to be washed as frequently as it had to be washed with the other one because with the other one I could just wash my hair twice a week and that was pretty nice. Just wanted to give an update on that situation. I just came downstairs and I was getting ready to go and then I realized one of my deliveries came that I ordered. So I ordered these Christmas pajamas from Hollister that I saw. I know that their pajamas are really soft because I've felt them in the store, but then I saw online that they had Christmas patterns now, and I'm all into pajamas and cozy things, so I had to get them. Let's see how they look. Ooh, they look really cute. I hope they fit me because I never got pajamas from Hollister, so we'll see. I got a size medium. Ooh, they're really soft. So soft. Okay, so this is the top. It has this cute like mistletoe pattern on it and it's a light gray color. Long sleeve for the top. So that's the top. I think that'll fit me. These are the bottoms. They're flowy. These look like they'll fit me too. Again, the same pattern. Super soft, they have pockets. That's always a plus. <laughs> so I'm excited to wear these. Will I wear them now? Not now this second, but like now in this time of year or will I wait for Christmas? I don't know. I may not be able to wait. So I got that. I also got just like a tank top from there that I thought looked cute just for lounging or to wear to sleep. Ooh, it's also really soft. That's really nice. Um, it's just this cream tank top. Then I figured I could show you, cause I didn't really talk about it. Um, I could show you what I got when I was out with my mom the other day. Cause I got a couple of things from HomeGoods and, oh, did I just break something? And from Kirkland's, so. I got this gingerbread men from Kirk Kirkland's. They also had the male version, which I was tempted to get. And I probably should have got it, honestly. I think I only paid $15 for this. Like, could have had matching ones. So maybe I'll go get that, because it was on sale. And yeah, I think everything was 20% off. And then at Home Goods, I got a new Christmas tree skirt because I've been wanting one and have been looking for one for the past couple of years. I have one now currently that's like a red, almost Christmas sweater kind of design. And I wanted one with houses on it that was more neutral and that's what I found at Home Goods. So this is it. Thought it was so cute. The little houses on it have a nice detailing. And yeah, I really love that tree skirt. So I'm excited for that for Christmas. Then I also got these hand towels. These were $9.99 that I plan to put in the bathroom down here. They have nice reindeer on them. They're very soft. They had these in different patterns. Like they had snowflakes. I think they had Christmas trees and they were all super cute, but I think this one was my favorite. So I got this. I got the mug that I'm pretty sure I showed in a clip. It's this gingerbread mug. Another gingerbread item. I love gingerbread men. So I had to get that. There's also a cute little gingerbread man inside the mug, if you can see it. There we go. That's cute. Then I got a Christmas candle, which my mom lights this every year. It's the Village Candle Christmas Tree Scent. It smells like a Christmas tree, it smells like Christmas. Um, I like this candle. This is one of my favorite scents. And then my other favorite scent is probably my all-time favorite Christmas candle scent is Holiday Bayberry by Yankee Candle. It to me smells like Christmas time like in church. It has kind of like a an incense-y kind of smell. 
but also smells like a Christmas tree and just has, it just smells like Christmas in a candle to me. So that is my favorite Christmas scent. This is probably my second favorite Christmas scent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Smells good. So that's all I got. And now I'm gonna head out with my mom again to go furniture shop shopping. And we'll probably go other places as well because let's be honest, that's what happens. So I will check in with you later. I'm here again, back with my mom. <laughs> at the Ashley store. All right, my mom and I went to Ashley and it was a little bit of a fail, but now we're in the mall. I got some, <laughs> some glasses at Crate and Barrel. I'll show you later. It's Santa, oh my goodness. Oh. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> there she is, my favorite scent. There's the OGs I was talking about earlier. <laughs> All right, we're sitting here eating some Annie Ann's pretzels. <laughs> we had an interesting experience getting them, but <laughs> that's another story. <laughs> Hi guys, it is Saturday now. Yesterday was pretty productive for me and my mom because we ordered a coffee table which Ben and my dad just went to pick up. We ordered that from Ashley. I'll show you it. Ben's building it right now. So we got that. That was a major thing that we needed for the living room area. And then we also found a table from Crate and Barrel that we liked and it was like the nicest quality that we had seen everywhere that we had been. And also it wasn't really as expensive as we thought it would be being from Crate and Barrel. It was actually like pretty comparable to the other things that we were seeing at Ashley and the other places we had been. I took down the information for that because I wanted to see if we could add it to our sofa delivery because I got my sofas from Crate and Barrel which is supposed to be coming towards the end of this month. So I wanted to see if I could tack that on to that order and then I wouldn't have to pay two delivery fees, which would be nice. So I am talking to the Crate and Barrel lady about that today. We found a table too that potentially uh, I'm gonna get. So other than that, I just need to get chairs then, which as I was saying the other day, I think I'm going to get black dining chairs for the table, which they have at like a million places. So <laughs> they all have, it's like the typical like chairs that you're thinking of like they have the spindles and they just look like a classic dining chair i was originally looking at them at ashley but i think i found them for cheaper at home depot so i may just go with the home depot ones because they're slightly cheaper than at ashley but i may also do a little bit more research to see if i can find them even cheaper i don't know because they're so popular they have them at a lot of places the opportunities are endless <laughs> So yeah, that's where we're at. It was very successful. We should really have that whole area down there basically together by the time our furniture comes. Other than the light fixtures Ben and I were just talking about, we need new light fixtures down there and that will be the next main project. But I don't really know what I wanna do in terms of lighting down there yet. So gotta think about that a little bit more. But right now, Ben's making the coffee table. I think I'm going to go through some boxes downstairs to get more kitchen things back up here because we don't have everything up and there's like still so many boxes in the basement. So I'm gonna go through those while Ben's working on the coffee table and get things moving. Here's Ben working on the coffee table. It's pretty massive. How big of a project do you think it is? Sounds good. Hi guys. So there's a water sound in the background. That's Eloise's <laughs> fountain. So just ignore that. It is Sunday now. Hi. Hi, sweetie. You okay? It is Sunday now. And I realized I kind of abandoned the vlog yesterday <laughs> because what ended up happening was Ben put the coffee table together and I ended up deep cleaning the kitchen like 
with Comet Cleanser on the cabinets and the backsplash and everything because I hadn't done that since we moved in. And I didn't realize how dirty it actually was. So that was kind of disgusting, but also glad I did it and that it's clean now. So I did that. And then it ended up being like around dinner time. So Ben and I just went out to get dinner at this Mexican restaurant. And then we went to a brewery near us. So I didn't film anything else yesterday, but I'm picking back up today. It's Sunday, it's in the afternoon. I slept in late today and I feel kind of bad about it. But you know, it's just been a slow morning. Yesterday, I never actually brought anything up from the basement because my plan was to clean the counter and the backsplash and then bring the stuff up once it was all clean. But by the time I was done with that, it was already dinner time, so I never brought my stuff up. So I'm going to tackle some of that today. Mainly, I want to bring up like my canisters that I have for flour and sugar and that kind of stuff that I normally would have out on the counter. I want to bring my dish rack up. I actually need to put some of this back in because it's not totally dry. So things are going pretty well. Yeah, what was I saying? I'm gonna bring some of my stuff up and then I'm going to go to my parents' house, which I always do on Sunday, and have dinner there. But yes, I do wanna bring some of that stuff up. So I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> oh, I just remembered, I wanted to show you the stuff that I got when I was out with my mom because I don't think I showed you what I got when we went to the mall and all that other stuff. So I'll show you that as well. Okay, so as for the things I got when I was with my mom, I got these two Christmas glasses from Crate and Barrel. I have ones like this that are for the fall that have leaves and pumpkins on them that I got from Anthropology, but I got these from Crate and Barrel. I've been wanting these kind of glasses for Christmas for a couple of years now and I finally just got them when I was there the other day. So the other stuff I got, I remembered, is up in my bedroom slash my bathroom, so I'm up here now. But from Lush, I got a couple of bath bombs that were winter and Christmas themed. So I got this snowman bath bomb. It's pretty cute. I got a Santa, which is also very cute. I got, these are so delicate, I'm like scared to touch them. I got this, I think they call this a snow fairy. It's not really Christmassy, but it's also not really focusing. There we go. It smells really good. It's not Christmassy, but it's part of their Christmas line, so I don't know. I just thought it was cute. And I got this bath bomb, which has a little holly or mistletoe in the middle. But yeah, I'm excited to use these. I'll probably use one this coming week. I keep my bath bombs in this glass jar that I got at Home Goods a couple years ago. And just keep it under my sink. And then I got this Yankee Candle. They were 40% off in the store and it's called Holiday Sage. So this says it's a returning favorite and it was first poured in 2000. I had never seen this candle before. Um, or the scent, and I didn't recognize the smell, but it smells like spicy and just like kind of warm, cozy, Christmassy smell, which I really like, so I got that for Christmas. I think that's all I got. And then yesterday, I ordered that table that my mom and I saw from Crate and Barrel. I was able to add it to our sofa and chair delivery that's coming at the end of the month. So I'm excited about that. And then I found some black chairs to go with it at um, Home Depot. They're just like plain black chairs. I think I was talking about them the other day. And then, like I said, the coffee table is finished now. Here is the coffee table. It's very big, which is what I wanted because when we get the couches, um, it's kind of a mess over here, so just ignore that. <laughs> Um, when we get the couches, one is going to go there where this couch currently is, and then there's going to be another one against that window, and then I'll have a chair like right here-ish. Um, so I wanted there to be a big coffee table that kind of everyone sitting around can use because there's also not really room for end tables in here because this is like a little walkway here, and then 
these couches are gonna kind of like join together. I guess I could put like an end table in between those two. I don't know, we'll see how it works out once they're actually in here, but I was thinking like a big coffee table would be nice so that everyone sitting around can kind of use it. And yeah, that's it. I got this from Ashley, as I was saying, I think it's called let me look up the name of it. It's called the Keratin Coffee Table from Ashley. The price that was listed in the store for the coffee table was actually like $150 more or something like that than what it was listed online. So if you're shopping at Ashley, be sure to check the online price because they will match it in the store for you, which is what they did for me. So yeah, I'm glad I looked it up online and got the cheaper price. But yeah, so... That's an update on the furniture. As for the table, the one that I ordered is called the Basque 65 inch light brown dining table. I'm pretty sure is what it's called. The one that we saw in the store, I think I have a picture of it. Um, the one we saw in the store was I think 85 inches. And so I need a smaller one for this space, which there's like, I have these pillows that are for our outdoor furniture here right now and Eloise sits on them by the window <laughs> But um, yeah, the table's gonna go like here in this space and so I Think the 65 inch would be better than a bigger one because we need this room here like for people to be able to to walk in and out and also the foyer is here, so yeah, so that table and the rest of our furniture will be coming soon and it'll feel a lot more homey in here. And then my next project is changing out these light, light fixtures because they're pretty bad. <laughs> like this one over here in the kitchen, this one here on the ceiling in the kitchen, they're all just very bad and they don't go together at all. So that will be my next little project. And also I need to get curtains. So I'd like to get curtains for this window. And here, I think I wanna get blinds for these. There's Eloise sitting on her little throne. But yeah, that's just an update on house things. I'm bringing some stuff up now from the basement. So this is just like a little mail kind of organizer. I think I got this on Amazon a while ago. I'm gonna put this on the counter because it's nice to just be able to put keys and other junk in there. And then my drying rack. And here's the box with my canisters in it. Anytime I go down there, I'm just so overwhelmed because there's so much crap down there. And because we keep just going down and picking things out of there little by little, everything is just kind of all disorganized now. And so, yeah, it's very disheartening going down there. But I'm gonna unpack this little bit of stuff and see where that takes me. Alright, so here are my canisters. I kind of want to let them dry off completely, especially the lids because they have this like silicone um, rim around them that needs to dry pretty well. So I want to let them dry before I put anything in them. And yeah, this is kind of the situation we got going on over here now. I don't know how I feel about this corner with the tea kettle in this bowl. I have that for like a fruit bowl, but I rarely put fruit in it. <laughs> Most of my fruit is in the fridge. So I may just put that away and not have that out. But yeah, it looks like a little bit bare though with just a tea kettle. So I don't know, I need to figure something out and also see what else is in the boxes downstairs. So, but for now, I think this is all I'm gonna do today because I really am not feeling it. I feel like the basement, I'm just going to do piece by piece as I have been doing it, a little bit at a time. So yeah, I'm gonna continue on with my day. I have to pick up my groceries, which isn't until 3.30. I made it at like one of the worst times because the grocery store is over here by our house and I'm gonna go to my parents. So 
probably gonna go there and come back to get my groceries. I also kind of want to get a Starbucks. I didn't drink any coffee this morning because I woke up so late. I just kind of came down and like had a little lunch for myself and never drank my coffee. So um, yeah, I might go to Starbucks, get a coffee, and then go to my parents and then come back here to get my groceries. So yeah, that's where we're at this Sunday. Ben is currently at his parents' house. He had couple of like house projects I think that he was going to help them with and also just going to see his mom and his sister and so yeah that's where he's at today so yeah that's the status this Sunday got my Starbucks I got the sugar cookie latte but with actual milk like 2% milk I think it automatically comes with almond milk and I got like half the amount of sugar because I prefer a more coffee tasting drink, but it's very tasty. I do like it. It almost tastes like a Girl Scout like shortbread cookie. That's what the flavor reminds me of, but yeah, I'm enjoying that. I'm at my parents now and I will keep you updated. My mom made some roast chickens and various other items. What do you have going here? Mashed potatoes? Corn? No, green beans. Green beans. Red What's red in the red other red one though? Red oh. Red wow. We also have an apple pie here for dessert. Did you get ice cream? Wow. Apple pie, a la mode. Here is the chicken dinner. Just like Thanksgiving. A little Thanksgiving preview. Hi guys, it's later on now. I got back from my parents, took a shower, dried my hair. Now I'm sitting in bed, getting ready to go to bed or go to sleep and probably gonna read my book for a little bit and fall asleep. Thank you all for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I think I'm at 52 subscribers now, so gotta make my way up to 100. So subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.